Star Wars 7x7 episode 3057. No spoilers, but today is the debut of the first half of the season finale of Andor, and today we're going to answer the question, what's left? <laughs> Punch it! Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So the stuff that we have yet to see, looking at teasers and trailers and social media clips and the like, there's basically a couple of things, a couple of major set pieces, if you will, that we haven't seen yet. One of them takes place on Ferrix, and it has to do with all of those Imperial Troopers with the riot shields and the people on Ferrix crashing into them, so there's definitely going to be some major activity around that. Possibly related to that, we've seen scenes of Dead Romero walking around with death troopers and death troopers going from house to house looking for someone, probably Cassian maybe, so yeah, that may be related to this as well. The other thing that we haven't seen is the space battle of which we've gotten glimpses with Luthen Rail unloading on a TIE bomber. We've got other Imperial fighters there, and there is a Cantwell class cruiser in the teasers and trailers, which is basically a ship designed to project tractor beams at a distance farther than what your average garden variety tractor beam would do used to basically steer traffic but also if it's a person that they want to capture or just destroy could be used to draw closer to shoot ion cannons at or to just hold in place while ships go carve it up but it doesn't look like from teasers and trailers and clips that we've seen, that Cantwell class cruiser is going to necessarily survive the events of season one of the Andor series. And the big question related to it is, where is this taking place? So the planet that we're above with those scenes could potentially be Segra Milo, which is the place where Saw Gerrera has his current hideout, or at least one of his current hideouts, because we know that he never stashes all of his stuff in one place. It's also possible that Luthen has had an attack of conscience and has decided to go rescue Anto Krieger from the ambush that he's about to walk into. I personally don't think that's necessarily the case. I think Luthen is really going to let Krieger just walk into the ambush and let him die. It would take some other action, like something that Lonnie Young would have to do to make him decide to intercede. And for that matter, the scene in which Saw Gerrera says to Luthen for the greater good, and Luthen says, call it what you will, and Saw says, let's call it war. That scene hasn't happened either, which is another reason why I'm wondering whether the space battle scenes take place near Segramilo. Then going beyond what we've already seen but haven't seen in the actual Andor series to date, we have a couple of character arc situations that need to be resolved. Cyril Cairn, for example, we need to do something with him. I imagine that Dead Ramiro might bring him back in in some fashion or he might decide to insert himself in some fashion in the whole Ferrick situation, but he has to come back to do something significant in these last two episodes. And Mon Mothma needs to make a decision as to whether she's going to work with this Davo character or whether she's going to seek another means of financial trickery in order to keep herself safe. And you get the idea that there's still a role for Perrin to play in this season, which I hate saying out loud because oh, that character drives me nuts. But, you know, they've positioned him well and deployed him well, and so I can definitely imagine a situation where Perrin screws things up in some really awful way, and that would definitely be a cliffhanger of sorts to lead us into season two of Andor and Mon Mothma's role in it. Ultimately, though, I am just as excited as you are about the finale. I'm curious to see how Melshi is going to play a role in this, and I want to know what happens to Andy Serkis's character, too. I'm fine if they decide to leave that just unresolved and let us wonder, but yeah, I do want to know. I hope he made it out of there okay, but I would understand the storyline of him not making it out, and as tragic as that would be, you know, it's also good storytelling, too. And that's what I've got for you on this episode of the podcast. I hope you are as excited as I am to see how they're going to wrap up this amazing first season of Andor. 
But for the moment, that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it as always, and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items, are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, other respective trademark and copyright holders, may the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.